paint in red with Teresa Gessling. Paint loosely a red tomato. I am just drawing the tomato with my brush with wet water. I added a little red to it so you can tinted it so you could see where I had drawn. I have permanent red, I have pyro orange, and I have quinacridone gold. Painting quinacridone gold to show some highlights in the tomato and coming back with some of my reds, keeping my warmer reds towards the top and of the tomato, and then the cooler red darker red towards the bottom. Now I'm dropping a little bit of my green Appetite Genuine in the top of my tomato. Lifting some highlights with a thirsty brush I've dabbed off on a paper towel. I'm now adding some more, some more greens in there. I have cobalt blue and quinacridone rose and I'm going to make a purple underneath for my shadow and I love quinacridone gold to mix with it because it gives some nice reflective light and blends very nicely with all the colors on my palette. I'm putting in detail now on the top cap of the tomato and I'm using all of my greens. I'm making some darker, one, darker greens and using some green appetite and phthalo yellow green and even a little bit of silver to it with the um, cobalt teal blue. I have an 18 well palette. That I just love. It takes with, with me, goes with me everywhere. permanent brown to ground my tomato and blending it into the shadow. Now it's time to brighten your tomato. I wet the whole tomato down with clear water and I'm dropping in permanent red deep over the top of the, the wash I had under. I'm adding some thicker, a little bit thicker paint, a little creamier paint um, of the permanent red deep to make some of the crevice darks. I want to keep some of those highlights so I'm still picking up some of the red. And just blend it right into the center. I am wetting down the shadow because I think it needed a little bit of, of more color into it. So I'm adding some, wetting it down, adding some more permanent brown and some of my Cad Red Deep into my shadow. I'm taking a splatter screen, which I like to use sometimes instead of toothbrushes, and I'm blowing into the screen to get some splatters. I'm mixing a somewhat of a creamy mix of paint that will stick between the screen in the screen and blowing. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing to do, but that's that makes your fingers not less little less messy than using a toothbrush. And now I'm tap tap tapping some more splatter. I want this to have a real fresh paint look to it. So I hope you enjoyed my short four minute video of a red tomato. It's a red hot day. Enjoy your day. For more fun join my newsletter at TeresaGessling.art